National 4-H Week officially kicks off today with the theme Beyond Ready. One thing is certain, 4-H programs would not be able to thrive without the diligent work of local extension educators. I'm visiting with Jenna Gilbert. She is the lead extension educator for Engagement Zone 10, which services Knuckles and Thayer counties. Jenna, tell us about the theme of National 4-H Week, Beyond Ready. Which has made... Um the youth that are involved or have been reached by 4-H beyond ready for their future, whether that be a future career or just like being an informed citizen, anything like that. Um, So we've asked like our ambassadors in our county to send us some write-ups and pictures of how 4-H has made them beyond ready. And they've done a really great job of talking about the skills of responsibility that 4-H has given them, but also um, the knowledge of how to raise livestock and all of the inputs that go into their projects, not just the final product. Most definitely. Well, National 4-H Week is a big celebration. What does this week mean to you? Um, For me, as an alumni of 4-H who has... um, now now works in 4-H, it means a lot. Um, I was a fourth generation 4-H member of the club that I was involved in, and that was a huge honor to me. Um, I always thought that was so cool. And um, my aunt, who was also involved in the 4-H club, was our club leader, and my dad was on the fair board, and it was just means so much to me and I'm currently serving on the Jewel County Fair Board where I did 4-H in Kansas Um, so I love still being involved and getting to see um, all the things that kids are doing and how 4-H has impacted so many youth across the U.S. Most definitely well you get to work with youth all year long not just during county fair season talk about the growth that you observe in 4-Hers from their participation in the program. It's so fun to see um, how, like, they start out when they're so young and are so shy, and then the more they get to know you and work with you, they're more willing to come up and tell you about their projects or tell you about what they want to do in the future when they're watching shows. And so it's just so fun to see them throughout the years and grow in each project, but also as a person and the skills that they develop. For sure. Well, summer is definitely a busy time, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the year does not have its full schedule of activities. What does the fall and winter look like for your extension office and what is some of the programming that you're putting out? Yeah, so fall and um, winter and spring are school enrichment time for us. So we work with our county schools and go in and teach lessons and put on some field days. Um, So this this afternoon, I'll be in superior schools teaching some bacteriology and learning about germs. And then um, Wednesday, I'll be in Buffalo County teaching Inventure Day, which is an entrepreneurial field day for middle school students. And then Friday, I'll be teaching about pumpkin life cycles. Um, So it's always something different, but we're constantly working with classrooms to go in and teach different lessons. Um, And we're super busy this fall, which is very exciting. I would encourage everybody to um, share their story of how 4-H has made them beyond ready on social media. Um, There's a hashtag that is national that everybody can use. Definitely encourage everybody to check that out. Once again, that's Jenna Gilbert, Extension Educator in Knuckles and Thayer Counties. I'm Rebel Seclocher reporting.